Hi everyone, welcome back to the episode 5 of Bioflog Weekly. If you haven't watched yet the last episode, you can always find the link at the description below. In the last episode, we already talked about how this Bioflog can improve the health status of the shrimp. In this episode, we will share with you on what are the challenges to operate the Bioflog. In the last few episodes, I have shared a lot on the beneficial mechanism of the bioflock. But of course, there is always a challenge in applying this technology. Running a high-intensity indoor shrimp farming is not that easy. You can see many farmers, they have attempt bioflock technology for open pond methods and contribute to great achievement in production. In comparison with indoor high-intensity operation, the application is not that straightforward. By applying high-intensity farming, the farm operator need to have a good understanding on the bioflock system. This is because the bioflock they can change or behave differently under certain conditions. The condition can be from external factors such as the sunlight, the oxygen, age of the bioflock, feed and carbohydrate, which will probably change the microbial population. Change in the microbial population sometimes go undetected, which resulting in catastrophic failure in your bioflock culture. For example, excessive exposure to sunlight during the bioflock formation phase would result in the green bioflock instead of brown bioflock. For the green bioflock, without giving proper aeration during the night time, your culture organism will be suffocate. Therefore, good theoretical understanding and practical knowledge is crucial to run a stable bioflock. Second challenge is on the balance requirement for waste removal and also the carbohydrate addition. This is very similar to RAS where one need to understand the limit of feeding. It is because amount of feeding determine amount of waste that will be produced later. In this case, understanding amount of ammonia and the corresponding amount of carbohydrate required is very crucial. This indicates the need to balance the carbohydrate requirement, the water quality and the feeding amount. This is known as maintaining correct CN ratio, carbon to nitrogen ratio inside your bioflow. But the CN ratio is depends on the type of bioflow, the age of your bioflow, type and amount of feed and also type and amount of your carbohydrate supply. So here we have three different CN ratio and here we already pre-mix the carbohydrate and also the pellet inside the bottle to make a desired amount of carbon to nitrogen ratio. So here we already change the size of the pellet according to the size of the shrimp. We also provide CN calculator in our website and you can find the link at the description below. The last challenge is on the sludge accumulation. Sludge accumulation is very common in bioflow. The sludge, they can come from the leftover feed, from the waste product and even from the bioflow itself. Both open ponds and indoor farming, they need sludge removal application. Excess sludge build up in the system can cause vibrio and mass mortality towards your shrimp. Here is how the dewatered sludge look like. This is caused by the poor circulation, bad tank design and also lack of sludge removal facilities like the setting tank and also the foam fractionator. However, operating the sludge removal technique in intensive indoor units is very crucial as supposed to open ponds. This is because open ponds, they can discharge water and draw in the seawater back into their ponds. But it is not applicable to urban indoor farming as we have a very limited source of seawater. Therefore, the challenge that we have highlighted are mostly related to the competency of the farm operator. It is important for the farm operator to have both experience and practical knowledge to operate a successful bioflock farm. To recap, 
In this episode, we already talked about what are the challenges to operate the bioflock. The first challenge is on the understanding of the bioflock itself. Second is on the understanding of the microbial population and the CN ratio. And third is on the understanding of slash removal. In the next episode, we will be discussing on the what are the business opportunity of the bioflock culture. Do subscribe so you will get notified when the next episode is out. We do provide a free ebook for you to read on your free time. You can find the link of the free ebook in the description below. So if you have any question, leave your question at the comment below and we will do a Q&A session at the end of this series. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.